Hey guys, back again. So now we're going to see this little preview about this application using Akita and Firebase. So uh, everything is being stored from Firebase into Akita and Akita is uh, going to check for changes and all that so we don't have to do it manually. So we will implement a service for that. So let me just, this is the third time I record this because, well, you know, technical issues. So let's say technical issues, something like that, just to create a new post uh, for you to see uh, that we have a, a working application. Well, I don't have the redirections, but let me just grab another one. This one, I don't have this one. Open. Okay, submit. You can see this and the data, and we are returning this. Data is because I'm uh, performing some actions for the background that um, I need to check because of how the design was implemented, but in most designs, you will not require this. So let's go back here, and you will see we have another one so this is what i recorded before and this is the other one i recorded before so yeah um let's actually come here and delete one or delete a few i have the delete button here and you can see that was deleted okay it says you cannot get because um it was trying to refresh the store so don't worry, the story is going to work perfectly. So if I refresh this, okay. So this is the store from what we are getting. And it takes a little bit, but the story is going to refresh. So don't worry too much about that. It's going to check for changes. And, okay, so that is done. We go back and you can see that we don't have any error there. So. We deleted that one, so let's delete another one. I updated that, right? I didn't delete that. Okay, so let's delete. And you can see we have four. We don't have pagination here, and you can see the error here because of how it's refreshing. But uh, later, you will not have any problem with this. Okay, so it's actually working pretty good. So this is just an error about initializ initializing the store and checking for the changes so it's a throw by uh, the browser so um, yeah let's uh, update one edit uh, technical issues updated and let me just change this to just data so i can see submit okay we need to refresh this because I forgot to implement that. And you can see it kind of flashes this because of the background, the HTML background, which I am checking. That's why it's performing this or is consoling this data. So you can see we have this background actually in the um, in the HTML, but when we go to other routes, I don't want that to be displayed, so I'm handling that. And you can see that if we go here, it actually does that in the background. <laughs> so it checks the background in the background, and um, you're not going to see any flash here unless you refresh this. Okay, you will see a little flash, but um, well, I don't mind too much about that. As I said, in most designs, you're going to go with something more minimal and you will not need to perform these changes. So, um, yeah, we have that. We can even change the image. So let's choose a file. And let's grab the one I had before, this one. And you can see the file list, submit. It's processing and you can see the upload process. I'm not outputting that, okay? It's just being console. You can output that later. So I'm not going to worry too much about that since it's the same process we did before with other um, Angular applications. 
So yeah, that's it. And we can go to create post and you can see that when we are on create post, we're going to remove that because we don't want the, the link there since we are already on that page and there is something is being checked constantly. Okay. So that is not going to, um, since, since it's a little check, it's not a ton of calculations. It's going to be fine. So don't worry about that as well as the background. If you do this with a multiple calculation, it's going to slow down a ton your application. Okay. Even if you're working with angular nine, it doesn't matter. Uh, performing high uh, calculations okay, in the background when you are constantly checking using the uh, life, cycle, life cycle method, sorry, then that is actually going to slow down your performance and create some memory leaks. So you need to be aware of that. Everything should be done inside the service and only a small thing should be done using the uh, after content in it checked or after viewing it only um, checking the um, you know some stylings and some small checkings nothing too fancy nothing too hard okay so yeah uh, I think I said pagination we're going to check that in a different video because there are several ways on which we can perform pagination and also with that, we're going to check filtering, although filtering is just a simple thing that we can add when we are receiving the store uh, or when we are fetching from the store. And um, so, yeah. So, yeah, that's all. And um, I will try to record this as fast as I can and uh, to bring you more, to bring you, sorry, more content during this quarantine. So I will try to work with that and um, yeah, so guys stay safe and see you in the next one.